eating better and exercising are good for our health. And we're pretty sure we've heard that message before. We didn't, you know, we didn't need some big pharma wizard to go looking for some new drug. We knew this all the time. And to some extent, you're absolutely right. In the sense that I'm just telling you that diet and exercise are good for you. We've already known that. Uh, 10 years ago, uh, there was a, a trial called the Finger Trial out of Finland, where they did almost essentially what I just did, a randomized uh, prospective clinical trial. They didn't get dense data. They were just testing to see whether multimodal interventions worked. And they found more or less the same effect I did um, just in the last month. I mean, you guys have seen all, I'm sure I don't need to point all these things out to you because you know, you've seen all kinds of studies published that diet and exercise are good for you. But the combination in a third of a million people living in Great Britain shows that these people are living longer, at least in this cohort study, than other people. Uh, it's just the combination is important. And that's one of the other criticisms we get for COCO is why don't we test everything separately? Because sometimes combinations matter. Uh, now, admittedly, this is about longer life, not dementia, but I think they're related. And then just in the last week or so, this was also kind of gratifying. A group did a purely theoretical analysis based on uh, many of the graphs that I draw up on as well. And they were trying to predict what intervention would be most effective for treating Alzheimer's. And out of all of the drug and lifestyle interventions they looked at, exercise was the single biggest factor. And so again, everything fits together.